Well, let me say this. Over the years, there have been loads, many leaders and administrators and, and helpers in all sorts of ways, trustees, and we've been blessed with many people who have contributed to making the church what it is, and I'm just so grateful for that. Oh, wow. Um, how to talk about Aaron in about three or four minutes. I came to Aaron in about 1983 and I just see the time as living with radical people who really lived out what they believed. I see the church as a community on a pilgrimage. We're all walking together and we all help each other together and if, you know, if I cry you come and sit with me if you cry I come and sit with you I rejoice when stuff goes your way I'm really really pleased for you yeah so we, we're actually retired ministers that's that's no, what we were. we were we were uh, pastors of a church for 31 years weren't we and uh, traveled the world uh, to uh, an organization right, called Links yeah. International which we founded mm -hmm. and uh, found ourselves in a place where we were quite broken and uh, we came to Aaron Church. And uh, we just felt loved and appreciated. That's right. Um, Honoured and respected. Mm -hmm. And we've just found ourselves home and with family. And, and that really is the thing that's been a real blessing to us yeah. because you know, families are, are, are made up of every generation. Mm. And you're always going to have lots of children, which we've got. Yeah, um, very good. And you've got lots of brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, grandmas and granddads, and that's us. Yeah. And uh, we just love being involved in all of that. We've never felt that in the 17 years that we've been coming to Aaron Church, we've never ever felt exactly. uh, alone. So I remember one particular Sunday night coming down and I drove the minibus down and um, I went forward at the end for someone to pray for me, just to lay hands on me and Stu G, Uncle Stu, <laughs> came and, and uh, prayed for me. And it's the first time ever in my Christian life that I completely polaxed out onto the floor and I just remember laying there and I remember that it was an incredible sensation the Holy Spirit hit me so hard and I, I it was felt like I was spinning like in a like in a vortex as I was laying on the floor but yeah that was my first real encounter with Aaron Aaron Church and then at that stage I had no idea that further down our family history we would all end up here and this would be our, our home church. Aaron's always had that sense of home and like um, I've always come back to it and been like so grateful for what it is. Like, it's just a community of you know, like a ragtag bunch. Like we're all so different, but when you come together and sing and we've all got that common um, goal, like it's awesome. Yeah, I, I was. We've got Mini Kitty and then Rusty. He's our youngest, and I remember driving um, with Kitty, just the two of us, and I was asking her how. Aaron Youth was going, how Aaron Church was going for her. And she said, oh yeah, it's really good. I was like, what's so good about it? She then started to tell me things about um, the impact that being amongst um, other Christians of her age was having on her life and the impact it was having on her faith. And she explained things to me that I had never heard her say before, which was just um, really amazing to hear that. And also having, I think it's been really great for them to have role models you know, outside of their family to, to learn from and to, and to see what growing up uh, into adulthood in Jesus can look like. And um, that's something that we can't show them. So that's been a real, real impact. Yeah. Can I tell you a little story that happened last week? Just personal to me. I have a walker and um, started to go towards the, the front door of the church and a young boy started walking towards me, gave me a big smile and held up a sign and it said, you are welcome here. And you know, it touched my heart because I thought, I am, I am welcome here and everybody's welcome here. It thrills me when I see Mike, Mikey, and the young people, when I see the band up there, when I see what's going on with the young people, you know, the, all the things they're doing. 
because I know they're held in the church. I know they have an opportunity to know Jesus in a personal way like I do. I can't wait to see the different gen generations that move on through the church. Mm. It'd be so nice just to see so many more like little babies and children and then young adults and adults and the older generation as well and everyone just to be together. That would be really exciting. Yeah. And I've been in the church for over 30 years and all that time I've been a part of the worship team and one of the things I love about Aaron that is the way it values worship and that's been such a, an instrumental and key part of my journey of faith. I love that Aaron values togetherness and it understands what togetherness brings both in community and when we come and worship together. And so there's nowhere else I'd rather be on a Sunday morning than worshipping with my community, with my family, with my friends at Aaron, because I think that's one of the things we do best together. I feel like Aaron's great at celebrating and um, cheering you on through the good times, but also really great at coming alongside you and standing with you and encouraging you when you go through times that are a bit harder um, and when, yeah, when you go through the difficult times. Um, and I remember coming along and just walking in and just feeling that presence of God and just that sense of Aaron Church and the family. It was at a time where I felt so vulnerable and so broken and I just felt so much love in that place and um, and then when dad died obviously that was like such a such a difficult time for us as a family and for us as a church you know it, it impacted a lot of people um, but I just felt that sense of community and that sense of love and that's always stuck with me. I just love it there it's yeah, just so yeah. much fun it's like a second family because like at Aaron you like it's all a learning curve isn't it yeah you're, you're allowed to make the mistakes of course. And yeah people yeah. understand that and yeah, it's just so, it's such a, such a good platform to start off, isn't it? <laughs> um, I first came to Aaron Church 17 years ago, and uh, as I was walking in the other week, I heard some uh, three young people, uh, David walked behind me, and he, they said... Um, That's David Thatcher. David Thatcher, yeah, and said, hello, Grandad. And that really impressed me because he's not only a physical granddad, he's a spiritual granddad. And that's what we walked into. And I have to honour the man because he found such a good foundation. And today we're living on that foundation. Every um, Christmas, someone comes up on the stage and they, um, the children show their Christmas presents. And my cousin Indy once came up um, on stage, and my, it was when my grandpa was the leader then, and she came up, she opened up her teapot set, and it smashed everywhere, all over the floor, <laughs> in front of the whole of church. Um, and that was just absolutely, well, obviously it was horrible for her, and at the same time, I got tea set too, so I was like, but no, that was probably one of my best memories. Um, I also got to know God at church, so, that has to be getting prayed for, from Avril for the first time, crying for the first time, dancing. Um, yeah, there's so many good memories from church, so yeah. I hope that I'll still be connected to Aaron in 50 years time, that I'll still be here as a then 73 year old, worshiping at the back and watching the next generation keep going and carry on the torch that has been passed on to us and we're gonna pass on to the next generation that as a church we are bold in our faith, that we are courageous in our conversations and that we go out to our community and we share the love of God to them. And that as the generations rise up, as the next generation comes up, that they do the same and they go further than we can take it. And as we keep going over the next 50 years, we get bigger and bigger as that happens, that we show Little Hampton, we show the whole Aaron area what Jesus is, what the gospel is and who the Holy Spirit is and how that can touch them in their lives today. When I watch the, uh, the younger guys coming up, it is just joy that, f that I feel when I watch people start to preach and teach and lead and lead in business and do what they're called to do, do what they're made to do. It just brings me life and I know that that's what I want to see. That's what I want to do. I want to see the next generation fly and become everything that God has called them to be. And that's what I dream of and that's what I live for. I've been here 37 years, I've not moved, I'm home.
Please. The thing is, I don't really want to talk too much about mm. Becca, you. you see. Mm. Action. I'm very humbled and profoundly thankful to God for, for all that's happened over 50 years. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Papa, if you can hear me. Yeah. Can Joel hear my voice? Yeah. So we joined Aaron Church around a year ago, just after we got engaged. Yeah. You're not going to say the rest of it? What? That was it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the rest of it? I'm Poppy and I am Aaron Church. Down the only road I've ever known. That's that's enough, isn't yeah, it? it won't make her get up. Bye.